Crimp and Cleave Termination makes fiber optic cables easy to install and use with minimal training and no consumables. OFS pioneered this process with its HCS fiber technology. This technology allows various connectors to be crimped directly onto a fiber's cladding for a secure interface in under three minutes per end. They can easily withstand the pull forces typical with installation. Termination quality can be measured in the field with an insertion loss kit. Watch the easy step-by-step -step process. OFS offers individual kits that include all the tools necessary to terminate supported fiber connector combinations. Each kit is packaged in a portable hard plastic case and includes printed instructions, scissors capable of cutting aramid yarn, a cable stripper to remove the cable's outer jacket, a fiber stripper to remove a portion of the cladding, a crimp tool to affix the connector onto the cladding, and a diamond cleave tool to provide a clean finished end of the fiber. Also included are tools for providing routine maintenance and cleaning of your fiber stripping tool, a tool used to remove the blades for replacement, and a brush tool for removing debris from the guide tube. The following steps illustrate the process of terminating a cable with an ST crimp and cleave connector. Slide the strain relief boot onto the cable, narrow in first. Mark the outer jacket of the fiber optic cable at two and one half inches. Select the correct hole in the cable stripper for the size of the outer jacket of your cable. Strip the outer jacket at the two and one half inch mark or in shorter sections to make removal easier. Separate the aramid yarn from the fiber by pulling it back along the cable. Insert the buffered fiber into the fiber stripper. Squeeze the handles and pull straight to remove the buffer. Stripping the fiber in smaller sections helps keep the fiber from being pulled out of the jacket for shorter cable lengths. Pull the aramid yarn back over the fiber. Feed the fiber and aramid yarn through the cable anchor, turning it clockwise until it bottoms out onto the cable. If a small portion of the aramid yarn does not feed through, just trim away the loose ends. This will not affect the strength or integrity of the termination. Crimp the anchor by positioning it in the crimp tool so the end of the anchor aligns with the edge of the crimp die. Squeeze the handles of the crimp tool until you hear a click. This will leave a depression on the cable anchor where it is crimped to the cable jacket. Divide the aramid yarn into two parts and pull back towards the cable, burying the fiber underneath. Settle the sleeve onto the cable anchor until it bottoms out. Be careful not to touch the bare fiber. Finger oils can lead to termination problems. Position the crimp sleeve in the tool so that the back edge of the sleeve is aligned with the crimp nest. Squeeze the handles until you hear a click. This will leave a depression on the cable sleeve where it is crimped to the cable anchor. Feed the fiber through the connector ferrule. Slide the ferrule down into the crimp sleeve. Crimp the ferrule by positioning it in the crimp tool so that the ST connector key is facing toward the top of the crimp tool. Squeeze the crimp tool handles to affix the connector ferrule. Position the connector in the diamond cleave tool. Use your index finger to actuate the trigger on the cleave tool once the connector has been fully seated in the well. Slowly and gently depress the trigger to perform the cleave. Hold pressure on the trigger until the connectorized assembly has been fully removed from the cleave tool. Releasing the trigger too early can cause the mechanism to slam back into the fiber, potentially causing chipping or damage. Dispose of cut fiber safely in a hard-sided container. Do not use your fingers to remove the bare fiber. Shake tool gently upside down without banging it on the side. Place a cap on the freshly cleaved fiber end to protect it until use.
Cut the excess aramid yarn away from the sides of the connector. Slide the strain relief boot up into place against the connector. Your ST connectorized cable is now ready for testing or use in your application. On-site termination allows you to save time by pulling unterminated cable, eliminating cable clutter, and reducing cost by building exact length jumpers. The simple crimp and cleave process provides a high quality termination without the need for epoxy or laboratory polishing systems. Terminate cables with V-pin, ST, SMA, or F07 connectors outside in three minutes or less per end. Ease of use, repeatability, and immeasurable results create the best value for your fiber optic system. Contact OFS for all of your fiber optic cable solutions.